back to my channel, it's Brittany, and so I'm in the car right now. <sighs> so sadly, I don't have good news. Um, I just had my appointment, and basically there is no baby. The sack was empty, so they call it a blighted, blighted ovum or ovum, something like that. So basically, it just means the embryo doesn't attach or sometimes it attaches but then it stops growing so I think it did attach because last week we saw a little something but um, basically baby just stopped growing and it probably was just a chromosomal issue so which I honestly kind of just had a feeling I had a little bit of hope the other day because I finally started feeling some more symptoms I was really exhausted the last two days and um, just headaches and tired and a little bit of nausea so I was thinking that was a good sign but my doctor told me that I'm my body's still acting like I'm pregnant because the sac is still growing and the placenta is still growing and it can grow for a while even with no baby in it so basically um, my body can hold on to this for another three to four weeks up until the end of the first trimester so I am getting a DNC tomorrow um, he had something because I honestly I just want to get it taken care of and um, it's just the waiting is just so hard and I would just rather get it out sorry <sighs> I just wanted to film this because this is everything I'm feeling right now and I really I had a feeling something was wrong but you know I just wanted to have just a little bit of hope but everything happens for a reason and I don't regret announcing that I was pregnant like I said before um, because it was a pregnancy and you know I just couldn't deal with this alone and I don't know how women do and I'm sorry if you have gone through this and you know haven't told anyone or have dealt with this because it is really emotional you know I mean I'm thankful you know I mean I'd rather know now than later on um, before baby's more developed but it's still really emotional because you get excited and been trying to think of names and just excited for my son to be a big brother and like it doesn't help because literally all my friends are pregnant right now and it's just so fun to be pregnant with your friends but I know everything happens for a reason and we weren't trying we weren't trying and I don't know it's just probably something would have been wrong with the baby and it is what it is so I just wanted to come on here and just be real with you guys and let you know what I'm going through and just if you've gone through this then I feel for you and I just I feel for even people who are trying to get pregnant and can't and you know it's just really this whole experience has humbled me more just to be thankful for my pregnancy with my son Bryce and just thankful that I have a healthy baby boy and hopefully when the time is right when we decide to try um, we will get pregnant and luckily that's what my doctor told me that I am completely healthy and I've had a baby before so whenever we decide that the next one should be okay um but yeah so I'm just feeling anxious um I mean a little bit relieved because honestly the waiting has just been awful like that's just this whole week I've been anxious and you know just trying to see if I start bleeding or spotting on my own um but I haven't had any of that um so um that's why I just just decided to do the DNC and just have my doctor take care of it and know that it's done and I can move on and because I just don't think I could hang with waiting to pass it myself especially since I have a 19 month old oh sorry my arm is like killing me uh um, sorry the lighting's weird but yes I have a 19 month old and I work so today's Thursday by the way so 
I'm having the procedure done tomorrow at 1.30. It's about a 10 minute procedure. So I go in there around 12 o'clock. I have to fast for eight hours before and um, they put me out. And then I just wake up and then I believe I'll just be bleeding after. It'll just be like a period, I guess. So I just, like I said, I'd rather have him take to um, take care of it because then sometimes women who pass it on their own um, I, I have to get checked again in about a week or two to make sure everything went okay and everything's out because otherwise it could be cause of infection and all that but just for me I just think it will be better emotionally just like the waiting game is just awful and again if you've experienced this or have experienced even being further along I am so sorry and it's definitely not easy and I will always remember this pregnancy and <sighs> but yeah so I just wanted to update you guys and sadly I did not want to post this video I was hoping I was hoping it was gonna be that everything's okay and I was just early but everything happens for a reason and we will get pregnant again when the time is right so yeah I just want to update you all and let you know what's going on and if you've gone through this um, feel free to message me or leave in the comments and again that's why I'm I'm not ashamed of announcing um, because I can talk and relate to people who have gone through this and it's just not easy so it's just nice having the support of other women uh, my husband's so supportive but it's just still nice to have you know my friends and just women who have gone through this because um it just messes with you emotionally and it's just you know because my body's still holding on to it so it's just a weird feeling but anyways that's all you guys so I'll probably be a little MIA for a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to vlog like how I am after the surgery and maybe let you guys know how it went. And um, if you, I don't know, hopefully nobody has to go through this, but I know women do and it happens, but I don't know, just gives you an outlook of what to expect. Um, I guess I'm just nervous of the unknown and just even though like it's a quick surgery it's just nerve-wracking just being under anesthesia and all that but again I'm just I chose this because I don't want to wait and I just rather have my doctor take care of it um and just so I know everything's out and I don't have to wait to pass it on my own since I do work and have a young one at home so thank you all for being so supportive during this time and I'm thankful for all my family and friends who have been there and like I said I couldn't deal with this alone so I'm happy I was able to announce and tell and just anyone who's ever gone through this um I feel for you and I'm more humbled by this so anyways I'll see you guys in my next one bye you guys Ahead. oh shit <laughs> oh no are you <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I was never oh. the one to write up a song for oh, just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear and now 